Hello my friends, welcome to the lab. Today we're gonna to going to tear down this uh, um, the battery which was salvaged from the laptop in one of my previous videos. So this is Dell 84 watt hour standard battery type WJ5RR2. Um, so the battery has bulge in the middle over here. Yeah, so it probably consists of three elements of three cells. One of them is bulged up. So I think I would be able to uh, revive this battery. So probably has to be just a salvage. So in order to do that, we have to probably pop those tops which are on the perimeter over here. And I think this is be much easier a uh, tear down than actually tear down of the external laptop battery because this is internal. So let's go. Have this shovel like a spudger thingy which I would like to use to lift all those stuff. I'm just guessing here I'm not sure what else has to be kind of lifted around um, in order to hmm it's not that straightforward. I'm curious. Oh yeah, okay, so those, um, maybe use this one, it's easier. Those tops are everywhere essentially. So it looks like the, uh, the battery itself is encased in metal, which is kind of interesting, well, which is great because it's gonna have better protection. Okay, I did some uh, work of the camera because it uh, was a bit of a poking involved. So what we have here, so um, there's a whole bunch of tops on the perimeter of this um, which lock metal part to the plastic part. And I found that it would easier easier to start in this kind of corner over here because you have leverage first of all. And second, you have, uh, if you start on the corner, it starts splitting this way and that way. So we already see we are getting somewhere inside. It looks like it's not just snapped, it's also glued because I disconnected all tabs and it's still kind of holding together pretty firmly. So I'll keep pulling. I'm not sure if it's connected to glued to the batteries or glued to some sort of backing. Looks like there is some sort of should be some protection between metal and the batteries itself. Okay, it's slowly. Everything we have to do very slowly and controllable to make sure nothing go high explosive. Because not sure how much energy left in the batteries probably a lot because the, the charger doesn't really cooperate oh it's actually different than I thought hmm look at this already see something super cool all right we are in and here is the money shot Ta da Okay, this is not what I expected to see. What I see here, it essentially looks like uh, six cell phone batteries <laughs> connected together and this one bulged. This one. So this one is okay, this one is okay, this one bulged, this one bulged, this one is okay, this one is okay. So we have six cells over here. They obviously connected in pairs, two, two, two. Uh, as you see, they are also differently oriented. Uh, yeah, I actually expected to have three, uh, three big cells, but totally makes sense because in other situations they can make just this big kind of element, right? They can combine them, or uh, if they want to be to make like um, nine cell battery, like three by three, they can just add three more somewhere, or maybe like a sandwich on top. I don't know. Yeah, it uh, looks pretty cool. So I'm not sure what will be involved to actually pull these guys out. But what we can do, look, this is a little bit pulled. It's not good, it was glue over here and it sort of pulled the casing of the batteries. What kind of brand those batteries are? I have no idea. 
it says ls sp6454 64sg 3.85 volt let me take my multimeter and see what we have here okie dokie okay so um, 429 that's awesome 429 429 430 nothing wow okay that's gonski nothing weird really like nothing wow uh <laughs> this is uh, not what i expect i thought it's gonna be like those whatever bulge they're gonna have like you know 2.2 .2 or uh, whatever some weird ass voltage but like two of them this, those two batteries just nothing this is weird because if uh little lithium batteries goes nothing this essentially means that there is some defect in there like it's okay let's try again maybe i'm being stupid let's tr just try again like no nothing like i mean three thousands of the volt it's just it's the joke it's pretty much it looks like it just shorted Unless it's some sort of protection which actually shorts it. No way. No, no, it's too much energy to short for protection. Okay, so we need to also take a look at the electronics here. I'm sure what will be involved to actually to yank those out of there and um, disconnect them from the circuit. Unless, unless there is a... It's... Um, just try to see. Maybe there is a... It's just like disconnected itself from the you know because of the vibration or something like that mm. oh yeah it'll be hard to pull those apart hard to pull those apart okay this is the control circuit we'll get there but first you need to figure out how to dis disconnect the batteries and uh, you can also try to measure the voltage on the whole pack but I think it's just not gonna be anything yeah because think the ba the battery controller just doesn't let any voltage out when it feels like something wrong with the Something wrong with the batteries, so it's just nothing. Oh, yeah, okay, let's just move this aside. Okay, I will try to play with it. Oh wow, okay, it took me some time to yank those batteries out of the out of here and as you see over here everywhere there is like um uh, a glue, yes. So this glue was actually gluing all those packs and uh, on this side looks like they were less glued and on this side they were pretty glued, pretty strongly glued and I was using this old uh, SIM card to have sitting around it just uh, so I kind of lifted the battery on this side, wiggle around it, lift it, sec, sec, like fold it and go 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 like this trying to use this battery like to kind of dislodge glue between battery and um, and the, f and, and the case, uh, not to yank it like crazy, but just like try to wiggle, 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 and uh, dislodge it. Anyway, so here we are. Let's uh, measure voltage again. Uh, okay, before that, look at the construction. Essentially, this uh, controller board, here we are, it just hangs in the air because batteries are glued and board is not glued. Uh, we have a connector over here, which uh, main power connector. Let me zoom in a little bit more for you. Oops. All right. Uh, okay, the power connector. Then we have uh, not much going on. Then we have a controller. This is probably flash memory. As far as I know, some of those have flash memory and two big as um, MOSFETs. Uh, what are those two? I do not know. Ah, it's no. I don't know. Weird, those, those kind of weird things. 
um, looks like uh, those two batteries are essentially connected on dota boards as you see so here like this this looked to me like as if this is like four element and then you can make it four element and can make six element so maybe this is how how it goes and they add this flex flag flex cable um I have no idea what kind of brand of those uh batteries are and let me see what the controller is it's probably going to be ti parts from what i yeah it's really hard to make out really hard to make out okay we will I will provide this information uh, when I kind of zoom in I found a very interesting contraption over here first of all this turned out to be like a jumper the second jumper up jumper there's also this is probably a thermistor going to for some reason just for this to this battery from over here says AT but this is the only let me take something plasticky to poke around this is the only wires uh, that coming to the battery like that uh, also what the hell are these let's say the, the, each battery has um, uh, the, those two bat three batteries facing this way they have some sort of thingy over there is it the fuse or protection device of a sort let me take a look unless it's a thermal protection actually Yeah, there's some elements soldered in there. I have no idea what that possibly can be. Yeah, just a bunch of numbers. It doesn't mean much to me. One six three zero four zero four nine T E T A H fifteen seventy seven. Yeah, meaningless, unfortunately. Well, for now, meaningless. Unless it's a fuse. Unless it's a fuse. Okay, let me see what. Let me mark uh, the bad batteries. Take a look what batteries. Okay, so those two four point three. Okay, those two are bad. Okay, let me see something different. Let me measure off. Nope. No, I thought this is protection or a fuse of some sort, and like if I measure before or after it, and it will you know do something but no 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 voltage not before not after it so i don't know what kind of device is this what does it do and where is this coming from or coming to is this from inside the battery yes it looks like it it's hard to tell is this goop okay goop is off Yeah, this is probably coming from 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 the inside. So this battery is completely off. I mean, I'm curious how battery can be zero 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 volts. Let me measure again. And I'm not sure the polarity. Let's try this sort of. Yeah, nothing. No, obviously that's gonna be nothing. Let's check the resistor of this little device. Resistance. Yeah, it has 0.4 ohm, well, whatever it means. Yeah. Hmm, weird. Okay, well. This uh, probably all I can do about those batteries. So, ah, 
So this um, this won't be able to I won't be able to salvage all that. Okay, so the idea here bro will be probably to pull the batteries apart to see which one is actually sorry I mean salvage salvage to bring the power uh, the the bat battery pack to the functional uh, condition because first of all I don't know where to get the similar battery. Secondly, uh, I don't know if I need to. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna salvage batteries out of here because they totally can be used in some electronic projects. Oh, this is this is great, and they are pretty beefy actually. I'm gonna check them if they are have proper um, impedance and resistance and how they charge and the capacity and things like that. And based on that, uh, I will use them or not. I'm gonna discard them if they are pretty discharged. I'm gonna fix up this. Um, I don't know. It doesn't matter. There's a bad battery. So I'm gonna try to play with those bad batteries, th these two, and see if I can do something. Also, uh, I have this m controller over here. I'm not sure what can I make out of it, but uh, by the way, this is on, on the controller. It says 2016-0829 Park City 6C Revision B. So that's a relatively old design. I thought 20 well 2016. It's like four years old. Uh, so I, I will do some investigation to understand what kind of what the hell is this, um, what kind of controller, and just probably flash memory or, or I don't know what it is, but highly likely because some of these controllers have flash memory, but they can have internal flash memory, so could be either way. So then I don't know what is this. So obviously MOSFETs. There is a fuse over here, but it's a global fuse. Um, those are probably current sense resistors. Be nice to know how precise precise are they. So technically, if I cannot, you know, if I salvage the batteries, I don't really need this board because it's useless. Even if I resolder it to another set of batteries, even like it's still not going to be working properly just because the, a lot of information is saved in this little dude. Because it's not just like um, number of charges and you know whatever whatever. It also saves the chemistry of these particular batteries. The the impedance and uh, many 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 information is saved in well either in the chip or in in the flash memory. So this is very important. Uh, this is really hard like complex procedure in order to configure this battery pack for it to work properly. So probably will be too much effort to kind of remanufacture it again. Uh, it's rather e e easier <laughs> to. To do something else and save time and buy just new battery pack these days i think this is more or less affordable either you can buy original or you can buy chinesium and the bob's your uncle save yourself the time but these batteries can be salvaged for some other projects for 100 percent sure um, more information on this thingy will be provided uh, in the description. I'll try to um, get more details on the chips, more details on the batteries. I don't know what kind of brand is this and um, you know, things like that. But uh, for now I'm gonna keep it uh, like this before I get a little bit more information on it. Because if I destroy all that I won't be able to do anything. Uh, maybe I, there is something I can do about these two batteries. But if this is completely unsalvageable, this is going to be parted to pieces. I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, I hope it was useful. And thank you guys for watching. See you next time.